What's going on guys, Arab here. Welcome back to another episode of my F1 Manager career mode here on Motorsport Manager. We're in Season 4, Episode number 2 today, and now we're going to start off with the New York Grand Prix Round 3 of this, I think 12 round is it? Yeah, it's uh, no, 11 round, 11 round championship, so quite a long championship. But we're doing another two episodes. If you missed out on the last episode, it was quite a, quite a big one. We spent quite a lot of money. As you can see right now, we're in minus 10 million of debt, so uh, hopefully we'll try and reduce that slowly this season. But you guys definitely wanted to see this season on camera saying that you wanted to see me try and build the team up so let's go for another qualifying and let's see if we can reduce that debt once more right before we continue on we've got a bit of a dilemma here if better here is saying his contract expires within uh, three months we should sit down and talk right about now you know what, Vedder's been a solid drive for us, obviously won the last championship. I'm okay to discuss contracts right now, so let's discuss that. So recommended is 24, 21,000 and equal status. We're going to go for equal, that's fine. In terms of contract length, I'm only comfortable giving him 12 months, so let's see how that goes. And we'll try 21,000 like a recommend. Actually, you know, what is he on right? Well, he's on 9,000 now, so that's quite a hefty jump from 9k to 21.6k a month. So hopefully he's going to be okay with this, but I have a feeling he might reject it. Let's just see. Offer rejected. Okay, he has rejected that. Oh, uh, God. Okay, so he said I'm a cheap uh, skate, so he wants more money from me. Great. At the same time, we've got Frankie uh, Hamane asking for another contract. We'll discuss this as well. He wants 20 on that. Well, okay, let's learn from what we just saw. So 12 months equal. We'll go for 27,000 this time, even though it says recommended 21. Let's see, please. Okay, awesome. Accepted. That's fine. We now know what we can do with Veda when he asks again. Um, we can, you know, we, we know how, we know how much money to give him. Anyway, the New York Grand Prix qualifying, it's going to be sunny and uh, sunny in 60 minutes time, so that's all good. And uh, obviously, we had the New York Grand Prix uh, in the last championship. It was the final race, if I remember correctly, even though it was only a few days ago. That just shows how good my memory is. But um, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we, this was the last race of the calendar last season, season three. So acceleration neutral, I, I've got to agree with that. We get a oh, 1.8 million bonus for finishing 10th or above. It, it's just mad. The money in this Super con Continental Cup is crazy. So Veda, what was it? Acceleration in neutral, wasn't it? So um, let's go out for him. And let's try something a little bit different with you, uh, Hamane. We're going to go acceleration in cornering. Let's see how that goes. Right, they're starting the lap right now. They're through the first sector. Hamane with a purple uh, first sector. That's pretty good. Veda only setting greens. And it comes through. Hamane in second place at the moment. Veda third. Obviously, that will, will go down the order inevitably anyway. So uh, I'm not going to get the hopes too up, uh, get the hopes up too much. I'm, I can't speak right now today. Uh, Veda, we're going to send you out again for... You know what? Hamane did a fast lap time than you. Let's, so let's try cornering acceleration for him. And we'll wait a little bit. And then we'll send out Hamane again for another lap like that. And hopefully, the, I think timing-wise, they should be able to have another lap after this. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Right, Vedder's set two white uh, white sectors. He doesn't improve. Hamane's going to improve a little bit. Sixth and seventh at the moment, so not too great. We're about two seconds down, is that? Let's see. Let's pause this quickly. Um, We are, yeah, 2.1 with Hamane down and 2.3 with uh, Vedder down. Not too amazing right now. Um, so they come into the pits. We'll have enough time just to send that again. Now, what do we go for? I want to change it up. See if we can do anything differently. Let's go. Let's go neutral, neutral. You know what? Slap bang in the middle. Can't hurt us. You know, if we if we improve time, that's great. If we not, if we don't, that's fine. Um, and then with Hamane, we'll go something completely different. Let's go with acceleration gear ratio and straight line arrow. Let's see how that goes. I don't know. I'm just winging it. Right, Veda comes through. Sets a white sector. Same for Hamane. So uh, looks like the random gambling on the setup has not completely worked at all. And uh, Hamane does improve a little bit. So he's in eighth and Veda is in 11th. Please, please, please stay in 8th place. Steve, please stay in 8th place. Yes, it is. We get 1.8 million in the bag. And just like that, our debt reduces from like 10 million to 9 million. Right, we're going to change back the um, change back the kind of setup here. So what was it? The fastest for Veda was uh, Exaration and Cornering, I think it was, wasn't it? And then um, Amine, the same thing. Well, he did improve a little bit, but we'll put him on acceleration cornering. The same. Actually, no. Well, let's go air, air, acceleration neutral. We're gonna we're gonna do a bit of a split strategy on that one. We'll see which one works out best. But we've got um, it's sunny at the moment with uh, with some clouds, and we've got in 29 minutes gonna rain. So watch out for that. We get a 1.95 uh, bonus of uh, 1 million 
if we finish 10th or above. So that's another lot of good money. Uh, let's go straight to the race. Not much else to say. All right, it is time for the New York Grand Prix. We had a good race last season here at New York. Can it be the same this season? Let's see. They're off, and Veda with a shocking start. He's down to 11th place. How many up into 8th, though? Uh, well, stays in 8th, rather. So that's an okay start. Who the hell's up in 1st place? I've never... Roscoe. Unless my memory's completely gone, I don't remember seeing a name Roscoe in the last episode. I might, I might be completely making a fool of myself and I just can't remember. I'm pretty sure I didn't see a, a, a pink car out in front of Roscoe. Oh well. Uh, so Hamane's up in 7th place. Better still in 11th. We've got 24 laps ahead of us. Let's see what we can do. I think I might put them on conservative and see what we can do on the hard tyres perhaps. That might be a way to go. Let's just see. Well, at the moment, I'm just basically looking and watching to see how their pace goes and how the tire wear goes on these soft tires while having neutral uh, speed just to kind of see and gauge maybe if it's worth maybe trying like, I don't know, one less stop with two hard sets of tires or, you know, maybe, you know, maybe the soft tire is going to be the way to go. Uh, at the moment, Roscoe out in, in the lead is uh, storming away. He, he's got a 5.7 second gap right now. And Vedder's tyres are wearing out quite fast. So I'm going to have to make a decision right now. He's going to have to come at the end of this lap. So, decision time. So, we've gone six laps on soft. So, if we manage to pull out maybe, let's say, 10 laps on hard tyres. So, that's 20, 26. That takes us to the end. So, let's go on hard tyres for him. Push into the pits. And let's see. And also, actually, wait, I forgot the rain. The rain's coming in 20 minutes. So if we can maybe stretch out hard tyres, that could be absolutely wonderful for us. So Hamane's out in front. He's now going to uh, pit right now onto hard tyres. Forgot about that. Forgot about the rain. So if we actually make the hard tyres go, conserve, conserve, please. If we make the hard tyres go out till the wet period, this could be quite cheeky. But it's going to be a bit of an arse. We've got how many minutes left on the lifetime? 18 minutes. We could do it. We could do it. Right, lap 13, Hamane is up into 6th place at the moment, Veather 13th place, but that's because some people have made their pit stop for another set of soft tyres. We've got rain coming in 11 minutes time, so I don't know, that's roughly like, I don't know, like less than 10 laps, but oh! For fuck's sake, really? Veda has damaged his front wing, ah, oh, bloody hell. Right, so he's got a pit, there's no there's no way we can continue on, so pit, soft tyres, fix, fix your front wing. Oh my god, he's halfway through the damn circuit. He's going to have to do half a lap there, and he only now comes in to the pits there. So he's in the pits right now. He'll strap on a set of soft tyres. We've got nine minutes left till the rain, so pretty much he can push quite hard on the soft tyres till the rain period. But that's really unfortunate. He's down in 17th place. My god, right. Okay, go on to pushing. Let's see what we can do, but I'm pretty sure Vedder's uh, hopes of any good points are kind of lost. It's all down to Hamane. Right, looking at that rain period. Okay, the okay. wait, hang on. Okay, so pause it here. The heavy rain and storm conditions have started. It is going to be drier in 22 minutes time. So that pretty much takes us to the end of the Grand Prix. So where is right now on screen? Where is Hamane? Hamane is here, I think. That's him on the top side. And then Bed is down there. So... Is it worth maybe pinning Hamane straight away? I think it is. So you're going to pit right now, pit onto the wet tyres, and then Vedder at the end of this lap pit and onto the wet tyres, please. Okay, I think that's hopefully going to be timed quite well there. The rain is coming up, the test tube's filling up, and Hamane's on the wet tyres. I think that we I think we timed that pretty well. Right, so I don't know what quite to do now. We've got about four laps left in the Grand Prix. Uh, hopefully, hopefully these guys can just go to the end. At the moment, Hamane's in a brilliant fifth place, Vedder in eighth. We've got four laps left, as I just said. Hopefully they go the distance. I hope they can. They're not wearing out too badly, so I hope they can go the distance. It's just about if they get overtaken, really, if, uh, the, if you know, other, ca other cars outpace them, because we've got some other fast cars behind us, so uh, it's going to be close. Please, please just stick with it. Right, last lap of the Grand Prix, guys. Last lap at the moment. They've got half their tyre wear left, so they're all good for tyre wear. Hamane's in fifth place. There he goes through. Let's slow this down and look at this through as Hamane comes through the final two or three corners, through the final corner now. He's going to come home in fifth place. Absolutely freaking awesome job. Freaking awesome job. And Veda nearly got lapped there in that race, but he comes home in eighth. So a double points finish for Arav Mosport. Who would have thought it in the New York Grand Prix? I said it. New York was a good track for us last season. And it's come home through fruition right now in the Super Cup. 1.95 million in the bank. 
get in. That's absolutely awesome. We got 10 po we got 14 points as a whole in that in that race. That's absolutely absolutely awesome. First season in this championship to get so many points there in the third race and now we're in a nice fifth place. We've overtaken American Engineering and we're up into fifth. Slap bang in the middle of the championship. And look at that. At the moment our balance is now down to 7.1 uh, minus 7.1 million I should say in debt right now. So we reduced that quite a bit. So another great Grand Prix like that, you know, another two races like that. We could be kind of looking in the green at the moment. Right, we've got a dilemma here. Okay, so Veda comes back. Let's discuss the contract again. This time I know what's what. So we're going to go 27,000, 12 months equal. Please accept this. Yes, get in. Veda and Hamane have all been signed up for another 12 months. Awesome stuff. Got another dilemma though. Manufacturing 6% or aerodynamics 12%. Aero is going to cost 7.7 .7 million and manufacturing is going to cost us 3.8. Oh, that is a lot. That is a lot of money, but that's 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 straight away immediate impact and improvement on the car. So, uh, I want to go for maybe manufacturing instead. I know aero is quite a chunky bit of upgrade time, but that's also quite a bit of chunky, um, you know, cost. So that's going to take us all the way back down to 14 million in debt. So. I'm sort of inclined to go for the 3 million manufacturing. So we improve the reliability because the reliability is quite low at the moment. So it's quite an important factor. Our aero is a bit higher than everything else. So that's probably the correct decision that way. But now we're back in 10.9 in debt. So great. I don't know if you guys have any strategies to maybe get out of debt. I mean, every single time I talk to you guys about playing this game, it seems like all of you guys go in debt quite a lot anyway. And just, you know, just, you know, basically say fuck it. So I don't know if anyone's kind of gone the route of trying to stay out of debt. I don't know if there's a way that you can successfully come out of debt. Maybe this is just, maybe this is a subplot of the game. Maybe the, the game maker wanted to teach you about the gripes of being in Formula 1 and motorsport. That basically you're always going to be in debt and financial issues. Although part of me highly doubts out to this, that subtle subplot and message of the game. I think it's really just a random motorsport game. Anyway, Durango. Here we go. Top speed and cornering. Not too bad. This will be the last race of the episode. So, Veda, let's go. What was it? I... I'm such an idiot. I've complete, I have completely forgot what it said. What was it? It was like, um, let's look at the track again. Um, okay, so I'm just going to guess. From this sort of track, we want some good top line speed because of this long straight. But we also want some kind of acceleration maybe out of these corners. So I'm going to go Veda, acceleration, top speed, aero. And Hamane, we're just going to go uh, neutral neutral and straight. So let's try that. Let's try that. Yes, my short-term memory is that bad. And to be honest, I didn't get quite a good look at the setup menu. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll move past that. And uh, we'll move on to this lap that Veda and Hamane are doing at the moment. Let's see. Come on, boys. Come on. Right, they both obviously go green, but we're going to see how it ends up afterwards. We've got a random name I can't pronounce going fastest. At the moment, Hamane up into second and Veda down to fifth. So, looks like Hamane's setup was the way to go. So, we'll swap Veda's uh, strategy onto Hamane's one to hopefully see him improve. So, at the moment, they're moving down the order as per usual. So, Hamane again, neutral straights. So let's go out again and we'll change you to neutral straights. Let's go out again, boys, and let's see what we'll do. Right, they come through. Hamane set two green sectors, as does Veda. So, they are improving at the moment. Hamane up into 8th, Veda improves to 11th, so Hamane didn't actually, he improved his time, but he didn't improve his position, Veda uh, did improve his position up into 11th place, but that's pretty much it, we've run out of time in the Durango uh, qualifying, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, I'm pretty sure this race was another season we did before, and I'm pretty sure I was told by you guys I, I was saying it wrong, anyway... Durango, Durango, I don't even know, but we've uh, we've completed our objective. Again, 1.8 million in the bank. We're on a roll here. We're on a roll with completing our sponsor objectives, although I shouldn't get too happy because I remember from last episode, one of you guys saying in the comments below that basically the sponsor targets will get a lot harder maybe towards the end of the season or next season. So we sort of have to kind of uh, soak it in while we can, kind of well, getting all this money from sponsors. But anyway, we're going to keep them on the same strategy. It's going to be a completely dry race this time, all dry in 30 minutes time. 1.95 again for a bonus of finishing ninth or above this time. So one more than last race. It's going to be a tough ask because we're in eighth place only. So we can only slip one place down. And without any rain, we can't really do any kind of clever kind of timing. We just have to go on pure pace. And because of that, I'm going to put Veda onto hard tyres and see what he can maybe do. I'm going to I'm gonna guess now. Watch how he gets a shocking start and gets down to like 15th or worse. Right, here we go for the Durango race. We go to five red lights. Watch out for Veda. And we're off. Hamane gets a shocking start. No, Veda, Veda gets an okay start. And Veda has overtaken Hamane. I put a curse on Hamane because I'd said Veda would be worse. But no, it was Hamane on the soft tyres. 
That makes no sense. But on the soft tyre, has gone down to 16th place. God. Right, we're just going to fast forward this a little bit. We're going to put Vedder on conservative and kind of play this out. Try and maybe do the kind of one or two stop. Maybe we'll see how many on the soft tyre. So we'll just hopefully let, let him kind of push a little bit. See if we're going to overtake someone at the moment. Defoe setting the fast half of the Grand Prix out there in first place. The two, uh, the two uh, green cars. I can't remember what team they are, but they're in one, two at the moment. So they're dominating the race at the moment. Uh, at the moment, Hamane is now overtaken Vedder. So he's up into 11th place. And Vedder just doing his thing in 12th place, conserving the tyres. Let's see. If he can go 10 laps or 9 laps, we could just do the one start with him and see what he can do. In terms of Hamane, his tyres are already halfway gone. So he's going to pro probably pit pretty much within the next lap or two. Hamane's continued on. Pretty much he has to come in at the end of this lap. It's a very long lap, actually. So this might hurt him towards the end and he might get undercut by a few people. We're going to come in right now. He's gone 6 laps on soft. So if we go another 6... Onto soft tyres, and then maybe another six, just about. I mean, we're gonna push pit in for soft tyres. We pretty much can't. There's no point in putting Hamane on hards, pretty much, because he's not gonna be able to go. I mean, he will be able to go to the end on two sets of hards, but that's pretty much defeating the point of having an extra pit stop. He, we want him to go faster, so. Yeah, we're probably going to have to go two. He's probably going to have to go three sets of softs in this race. And uh, Ved is going to go just two uh, hards. He's going to come out in 15th place at the moment. We're going to go back to conservative on the hard tie. So he is going to the end of this Grand Prix. Not sure how that's actually going to work out and if he's going to make it, but we'll see. At the moment, also at the same time, Hamane's worn out his soft tyre, so he has to pit. He's got 10 laps left, so those second set of soft tyres really did not go the distance. So we have to push, pit, and go with the hard tyre. So both the drivers ending on hard tyres. Hamane's gone soft, soft, hard, and hopefully Vedder will just go hard, hard till the end of the race. So... Uh, it's going to be tricky to get that ninth or above. Let's see. Hamane comes out in fifth place, though. So looking pretty good on conservative now, please. And we're just going to the end. Let's just cr cross those fingers, guys, watching at home. Cross those fingers. Let's see if we can go to the end. Right, as we go on to lap 16, you can see right now Hamane's in fourth place. Vedder in tenth. So pretty good. But that's because people have made their pit stops. We've got three laps left in this Grand Prix. We're still in third. We're actually in third right now. Third and tenth. We've got just about enough tire wear to go to the end. I think Vedder might struggle, to be honest. I think, uh, you know what? Let's take a risk. Risk it for a chocolate biscuit. Push, pit, soft tires. Because he's really... Look at that tire wear right there at the top. He's not going to make three laps, to be honest. So we might as well risk it for a biscuit for him. On the other hand, Hamane in third place might just make it to the end here on hard tyres. So let's pray a little bit and hope he makes it because this could be... Well, he's down to fifth right now. This could still be a brilliant points paying position if he ends up in fifth place. Very, very close. Please hang on. Please hang on. Please hang on. Please hang on. Please, please, please. Vedder's finished in 13th. He's fucked it up. I fucked it up with the strategy there. But Hamane, yes, mate. Yes, fifth place. Get in once again. Frankie coming in with the fifth place. Back at it again. 1.95 in the bank. We got another two objectives met. Awesome stuff. Frankie is doing the job this season. He's absolutely blitzing it with 10 points again. Unfortunately, Veda did not make the best of his soft tires. Only came in 13th place. But to be honest, guys... I don't think he would have done much better if I stayed on hard tyres. His tyres would have completely dropped off the cliff. And I think he pretty much would have stayed in the same position. So, I'm going to call that maybe just a kind of no-win situation there with Vedder. But Frankie on the hand. Frankie Amine getting another 10, uh, 10 points. And he's in 7th place with 26 at the moment. And we stay in slap bang in the middle of the championship with 36. So we end off the episode in $7.4 million of debt. So not too bad. Reduce that. The next Grand Prix will be the Milan Grand Prix. So we go to Italy for the first time in this series, guys. If you have enjoyed this episode, smash that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're around here, then do subscribe for weekly Formula 1 content. Again, guys, if you want to keep on seeing the... Uh, once again, guys, if you want to keep on seeing this series, just keep smashing that support, keep smashing those like buttons, and we'll continue it on. So I've been Aaron for Home Jobs today, and I'll see you guys next time.